At first glance, Apatosaurus and Brachiosaurus might look like twin giants from the Jurassic era, but if you take a closer look you'll see that these two plant-eating titans were actually quite different. One of the biggest differences, their body shape and posture, Apatosaurus, with its long sloping back and tail held high, cut a rather horizontal figure. Imagine it lumbering across the prehistoric plains, its massive legs like pillars supporting a fortress of bone and muscle. Brachiosaurus, on the other hand, had a more upright stance. Its longer front legs and shorter hind legs gave it a giraffe-like posture, with its back sloping downwards towards the tail. This unique body shape allowed Brachiosaurus to reach heights that Apatosaurus could only dream of. Because of its posture, Apatosaurus likely fed on low-growing plants, using its strong neck to sweep across wide areas. Picture it moving slowly through the undergrowth, its powerful jaws stripping leaves and ferns with every bite. It was a meticulous grazer, ensuring that no tasty morsel went unnoticed. On the other hand, Brachiosaurus could reach the tallest trees, making it a high-browsing specialist. Imagine it stretching its long neck upwards, its small head nibbling on the tender leaves of conifers and other towering trees. This towering giant had access to a food source that many other dinosaurs couldn't reach, giving it a distinct advantage in the prehistoric world. Now who was bigger? This is where things get truly fascinating. While Brachiosaurus might appear larger due to its towering height, it was Apatosaurus who held the weight advantage. Imagine a creature so massive, so heavy, that the ground would tremble beneath its feet. That was Apatosaurus. Its robust build and dense bones contributed to its impressive weight, making it a true heavyweight champion of the Jurassic period. Brachiosaurus, while taller, was more slenderly built. Its bones were less dense, giving it a lighter frame despite its impressive height. This difference in build allowed Brachiosaurus to move with surprising agility for its size, navigating the dense forests and open plains with relative ease. Both dinosaurs lived during the late Jurassic period around 150 million years ago. This was a time when dinosaurs ruled the Earth, and the continents were still shifting into their present-day positions. The late Jurassic was a time of lush forests, vast plains and a warm, humid climate. It was the perfect environment for dinosaurs to thrive, and both Apatosaurus and Brachiosaurus took full advantage of the abundant resources available to them. While they shared a common time period, they likely lived in different habitats. Fossil evidence suggests that Apatosaurus preferred drier, more open areas, where it could graze on low-lying vegetation. Its powerful legs and sturdy build would have made it well-suited to navigating the rough terrain of these ancient landscapes. Brachiosaurus, on the other hand, likely preferred areas with denser vegetation, such as forests and woodlands. Its long neck and ability to reach high into the canopy would have given it a distinct advantage in these environments, allowing it to access food sources that other dinosaurs couldn't. Imagine these magnificent creatures roaming the prehistoric world, each adapted to its own unique ecological niche. Apatosaurus, the low-grazing giant, and Brachiosaurus, the towering browser, both played vital roles in the intricate web of life that existed during the late Jurassic period. So, let's break it down one more time. Apatosaurus had a horizontal neck, Brachiosaurus had a vertical neck, Apatosaurus was a low grazer, Brachiosaurus was a high grazer, Apatosaurus was shorter but heavier, Brachiosaurus was taller, Apatosaurus had equal length legs, Brachiosaurus had longer front legs. Now that you know the differences, which one is your favorite, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more dino content.